everyone. Dion here with the Turquoise Iris, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a live stream today. This is gonna be a follow-up from my part one live stream on Monday. This is the buffet that I've started working on in the first part. This is gonna be part two. It's likely we're gonna do a part three as long as everyone is super kind and nice today. Um, whoever is here and already gave me a thumbs up, right back at you, I appreciate you so much. Miss Sally, thank you. Um, so this is what the buffet looks like as of yet. Um, I have not touched it since the last live stream. Um, this is basically the base coat and I kind of gave you guys the heads up that I like to describe it as this girl's kind of 10, 11, she's going through some changes, she's got her base on, she's figuring out who she is and before we're all finished, she's gonna be stunning. Um, this piece is a buffet. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. I'm just kind of sitting on the floor out here in my studio workshop. Um, thanks, you guys. Thanks for saying hi. Yay, there's already seven thumbs up because y'all are being so kind. Um, and I'm glad that you're here. If you're unfamiliar and you haven't um, caught one of my videos before, my name is Dion Woods and I'm the owner of the Turquoise Iris well, I, where I create hand-painted items such as furniture and also my art I sell on my website at theturquoiseiris.com. Um, thumbs up, bub. I also coach in a creative connection group on Facebook and I also do, I sell my tutorials, I sell classes, I do online classes and in-person classes. So that just gives you a little bit about myself if this is your first time being here. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right away so we're not wasting any time. I am using a clay-based paint called Debbie's Design Diary. It's a DIY paint. Um, I start usually almost always with a sample size. I, you will see that I double dip. You will see that I don't pour out um, in the, um, I don't worry about contaminating only because I go through these little guys like hotcakes um, with extra syrup. Seriously, that's how fast I go through them. So um, the brushes that I will be using are Paint Pixie. Um, they're made in Italy. You can get them um, I have a link for you if you're interested in trying them, but I love that these are oval and they're almost mounded a little bit. And then we have one, the French tip that I use on a regular basis as well. This is really good for getting around all of these little edges right here and on all this detail. This piece has a lot of details. Um, we've used three, actually five, four colors on this, but we're gonna start on this section right now. The colors that I'm using are Hey Sailor, which is our navy. Hi, hey, hey, hey. Um, Queen Bee, which is a beautiful golden yellow. Faded Burlap, which is a very light, light tan color. And then Old School, which I haven't even touched the Old School yet. I haven't even got that on there yet. In my water bottle is a Mermaid Tail. It's this gorgeous, delicious turquoise. Um, and I've got a little bit of it with about this much water. I don't measure. I don't measure. Um, just a tiny bit blurry. Is there a, ha a halo around everything? Interesting. Um, I am not sure. Can everybody see me okay? I do have a fan on because it's like a hundred in Oklahoma City where I am. All right, I'm going to get started, you guys. I promised on Monday that I would come back for a part two if everybody was interested and I got really good response really good comments and thumbs up so I just thought well we're gonna do it we're gonna come back and do this um, again if you're interested in taking one of my online classes great looks kind of like a sun glare really well I am sitting in front of a window can you see it better now is that better hey 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 I'm gonna get started I don't want to waste anybody's time um, we use the yellow first because I want the yellow down in all of the grooves, but we're gonna end up covering it up because what you don't see is this entire piece was mostly yellow, but we're covering it up with the Hey Sailor and it's blending. Once we put our wax on it, the colors are gonna become much more rich and deep. Sorry, the fan's blowing right on my face. So welcome everybody. I'm so glad that you're here with me on a live stream. This is only the third one I've ever done. 
So I'm little, I do a lot of Facebook lives, a lot of them, daily, weekly almost. And so that's a little bit more what I'm familiar with, but I'm thinking of starting a weekly live stream on here where I come on here one day a week, every week at the same time. You guys give me your input if that's something you think you might like. Um, I can come on here and give you a little bit of paint tips. Like maybe, I don't know, on a Wednesday at lunch every week. How would you guys feel about a, a weekly live stream here on YouTube? So again, all of this yellow is going to be mostly covered up. The only place I really want to see it is in the little creases and the edges there. Um, my style can be kind of designed or told said to be it's pretty rustic I also use a bold amount of color I'm not a white and beige kind of painter um, I like to try to create finishes that appear that they were you know that this piece could have been painted 50 60 years ago and maybe it was weathered maybe it was outside I go on Pinterest which if you're not following on my, me on Pinterest I do have a board there called Doors Around the World, and that's where I find my inspiration. Um, there are so many amazing just doors and windows that you can find in images, and I look to that for um, inspiration on what to do on my furniture, and that's always been my major source. Thank you for all these thumbs up, you guys. I appreciate you so much. So this is part two. We did part one on Monday. If you didn't catch that, you can still watch it here on YouTube. This girl is not in her pretty stage right now, but I can promise you it will be much better. I teach classes on the turquoiseiris.com. You can go there and register for the next one if you're interested. Meanwhile, I'll just paint. We're gonna cover up almost all of this yellow. This piece has been treated with soap and water and that's it. I do not use a primer with DIY paint. It's a clay based. Which means that it's very um, it's, a, it's a porous paint, but as the, porous, as the moisture evaporates, it becomes hardened just like clay. If you can think, picture about clay dirt, picture it like that. Um, we have a lot of clay dirt in Oklahoma, and I always like to use that as an example because when I try to dig a, a hole and plant a shrub, it's likely impossible, truly. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a tiny girl either. I can, I can get up on my shovel and really try to dig a hole but with all this clay dirt we have here in Oklahoma it's pretty tough okay so I'm gonna come in with my next color which is gonna be hey sailor our navy there's really no um, separation because it's an all-natural no VOC paint product um, there's no separation so I don't have to stir it or anything I just Take the lid off and we're ready to go. Um, you didn't use, mm, I missed your comment, hun, I'm sorry. So I use a little bit of water usually because it encourages the blending. And like I said, this is a navy and you can see that this color is much lighter because it's blended with my um, faded burlap and my um, queen bee. I'm not gonna make sure, I do not wanna cover all this yellow. I want some of this yellow to be hanging out here, okay? I'm not gonna completely cover her up. And considering this is just a base coat, I'm also not totally concerned with full coverage either.
If you have followed me on any other social media platform, you'll see that I use a lot of color. Hello from Idaho. Welcome, Karen. I'm the Turquoise Iris, otherwise Dion Woods. Thank you for being here with me today. You can look at this right now and think, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm not going to lie. I don't really care for this. That's okay. Just bear with me, all right? Just bear with me. Everybody still see okay? Okay, good. Hi, hi, hi. It looks, oh, hi, Raylin. How are you? Oh, I'm not sure it looks amazing, but I'm guaranteed that it will eventually. I'm not sure it's there yet, but we're still in our growing pains right now, okay? We're still in our stages of growth, okay? This is, buffet is really beautiful. I'm painting over this hardware because it's very thin and I mean it's it's just it's really I'm not gonna lie it's really not very attractive but I want to give it like a copper patina look once I'm finished so just bear with me you guys if you have questions that's great I will try to get back with you after this broadcast Sorry, that clanking noise is this door right here as I'm applying pressure to it. Okay. I'm letting all that yellow peek around this gorgeous design here. You're roasting in Fort Worth. Amy, my son is there playing in a ball game right now. Mm -hmm. Right now at this very moment and I'm trying to distract myself from the fact that it's so hot by doing this because I don't want to worry about them. My husband and I'm headed out in the morning to Fort Worth. Yeah, TCU is hosting a large world series and that's where I'm headed. This is faded burlap. We're gonna go in with this in the middle I'm going to just dampen the center section just a little bit. I want all of my colors to totally blend, but I'm gonna start with this brush here. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna go back with this one that already has yellow on it. We've got 54 of you, 56 of you on here. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate you joining me for part two of this makeover. Nobody's gonna panic. These are just the base coats that are going on. We're adding color and we're gonna go over it with our final coat once we get the base coat applied. I always work in sections too um, because the paint can dry pretty quickly and I wanna make sure I'm able to maneuver it while it's wet. One of my favorite tools to work with when I'm painting furniture or canvas art is a putty knife like this. It's a chiseled edge. It's about a two inch. Oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be so hot in Northern California, that's just rude. But it was about, I think in Fort Worth last weekend when we were there, it was 109, something like that. Not good. Not good for those playing baseball, that's for sure, or those people that have to work out into the, into the heat. The other tool I like to always have is my spray water bottle. This is a fine misting spray. <clears throat> So it comes out really soft, but I've also, I will also be spraying this mermaid tail. It's a mixture of water and paint, and I'll be spraying that on there too. But guys, I don't have to worry about all of this looking perfect because this is just a base coat. I'm adding some layers of color. It's definitely going to get ugly before it gets better. So just bear with me. This is how I always paint. The idea is to give it a time-worn, weathered finish that is truly one of a kind and that cannot be duplicated. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do this little middle section right here. dry brushing. <clears throat> Guys, if you're wondering what paint I'm wearing or I'm using and you're just now popping on here, it's DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary and I have an affiliate link if you're wanting to, um, to order some for yourself. We also have over 200 retailers in the U.S. that you can go pick up some as well. You're doing a terrible job. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> I can see where you think it looks terrible right now. Absolutely. I hope that you'll stay with me for a little while and uh, maybe pop back on here over the next few weeks and see it looking finished and maybe you'll change your mind. If not, no worries. You can just scroll on by worries at all. So guys, this is part two. I wanted to mostly get the front finished. It's still wet. Um, this is just the base coat. I'm leaving all of this yellow that we originally apply, applied. Um, from the beginning. So I'm going to leave all of that in these little grooves. The next thing I'm going to do is spray my mermaid tail over the whole thing. Nope, I lied. I lied. I forgot a step. These are my um, my rollers that I get from Artistic Painting Studio um, with Jennifer Ferguson. This is the um, Lotus Roller and just barely over here you can see a little bit of a print. Um, Sherry, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. So I'm going to grab my brush that has a little bit of my Hey Sailor. Thank you, Raylin. Um, and I'm just going to lightly dust over, just kind of brush dust. I'm not dusting, not today. I'm brushing over my roller, okay? And I'm just lightly putting it on there and then I'm going to take this and roll that print on here where it's very subtle. Actually, it's so subtle that you can't see it. So let me get a little more blue paint on my brush. It's already dried. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, again, this will be uh, distressed. This is going to be a very, very subtle image that you might think, what is that? I want it to look like it was there 100 years ago, okay? So it's going to be very subtle, distressed. We'll have wax on here. Um, thank you for all of the love and encouragement for those of you that are on here that you're giving me. Um, I appreciate you so much. Like I said, I'm thinking about doing a weekly show on here at the same time every week so you'll know when you can um, be able to find me. But I'm thinking about it. It's a hard commitment. So guys, I'm just gonna roll that on there. I know you guys are here for me. Like I said, it's very subtle. You can see the lines and such, but you can't necessarily tell what it is, which is exactly what I'm after. I can look over there and I can kind of tell there's a little bit of a flower and a little bit of a print, which is awesome. That's what I'm after. I want a very, very old, rustic look, but the color's gonna be a lot brighter when I add my wax. Okay, that one came in a lot heavier, which I'm totally cool with. I really don't want anything to be even. 
because I'm gonna sand it and we'll end up doing it again anyway. This drawer, I needs another coat of paint before I do it, so I'm not gonna add it on that. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, go ahead and post them, and I do have a fan on me, I apologize, but it's 100 degrees in Oklahoma City where I am today. Um, guys, this is, uh, you know what, you can get these at Artistic Painting Studio, um, and I even have a link for that as well, but um, this is DIY paint, if you're just popping on. It's a clay-based formula. Um, it's really easy to use, and um, I use it for furniture, and I use, you even use it, um, I do not paint the inside of the dresser. Um, it's very easy to use, and what I love about it, I water so much of my paint down because I like to blend, um, and it has, this paint specifically has five times more pigment than most chalk-like clay-based paints, um, so I don't lose the intensity of my colors, and that is extremely important to me. Miss Marlis Walker is here just who I was hoping would come see me today. So I am, I'm back for part two. You guys can catch it from the front, um, from, or from, from the beginning of the video, excuse me. Um, anyway, this is the base coat, guys. We're gonna go I'll come back in with another coat over the top of it. I don't know when I'll be able to be back, only because I'm going out of town in the morning for more baseball. Um, but you can certainly catch me next week. You guys, thank you for being here, and thank you for all that are being supportive and giving me thumbs up. Um, this is just my third YouTube Live on here, um, but I've had many, many requests, so I thought, hey, I can give it a shot. So thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will catch you back here on YouTube. Again, if you are unfamiliar with who I am, you can catch me on Facebook, where I do lives very often, and I also can be found at the turquoiseiris.com. Thanks, you guys.